Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Today we're going to unbox and test this LilyGo TTGo 1.54 inch wrist e-paper. This is the AliExpress product page and here's the library for the Xinyan LilyGo e-paper watch. This library includes one of the coolest example sketches I've ever seen. Let's try it out. First, the unbox. Yeah, here's the wrist e-paper. It's got this buzzer motor attached. It's got a couple of buttons. Oh, yeah, make sure to get the TU2T adapter because you need that to upload programs to your wrist e-paper. And underneath the padding, you've got a USB-C cable and a battery cable with a JST connector on it. This is my case on Thingiverse, and I finish it off with the Gadget Wraps band from Amazon. I really like the Gadget Wrap uh, bands. They come in a variety of widths and colors. Make sure to select both the width and color and double check it before you press order because clicking on one changes the other. Let's prepare the Arduino IDE. Look for the links in the description below. I'm going to download the zip of this Xinyang LilyGo e-paper watch library. Here I have unzipped the libraries from the lib folder in the zip. And I'm going to copy these libraries into the Arduino libraries folder. Now we can open the Arduino IDE and in Library Manager, let's check to see that each of these are installed. Here's Ace Button, Adafruit Graphics, Arduino JSON, ESP32 Time, GXEPD, and make sure that you're using this specific fork of GXEPD that's included with the ePaper Watch Library. The main fork of GXEPD won't let you compile these sketches. I didn't need the tiny GPS Plus, as this ePaper Wrist Watch does not include the GPS module. You're going to want to make sure you have the CH340 driver installed and you'll see when you hook up your tu to t board and your uh, LilyGo wrist e-paper, it'll show up here in Devices on your PC. Under File, Preferences, Additional Board Manager URLs, you want to have this Espressif URL. And in Board Manager, you want to make sure to load the ESP32 uh, board support. Now you can select the ESP32 dev module and click on the correct serial port. Let's take a look at some of the example sketches here. NTC partial test. Yeah, I wanted to do this one, but I need to figure out the parameters here for NTP client time client call. I understand the first parameter works out to be the offset, but this 180,000 second parameter, I, I don't know what it means. Simple test. This is what the LilyGo wrist e-paper ships with. It fires up the buzzer motor twice and then displays the LilyGo logo. Then it goes to sleep. So there's some good example code here for how to set the wrist e-paper to sleep. Watch Demo and Watch Demo No GPS. These are both in Platform I.O. So I want to visit these in a future video, perhaps. That leaves us with Wi-Fi Send Test. This looks interesting. It joins your Wi-Fi network, sets up a web server, and lets you upload images to the ePaper Watch. Make sure to put your Wi-Fi SSID and password in here. I corrected the spelling of the word waiting. It had an extra T in it. Now let's upload. Here you see it's waiting for connection to the Wi-Fi network. Then the wrist e-paper displays its IP address. Let's open up a browser and browse to that IP address. 
wow, this is cool. As long as your image is 200 by 200 pixels, this page lets you upload the image, convert it to black and white, dither it, and the dithering is really cool. It brings the detail back into the converted image. Then we click on upload and there it goes. This is so cool. I have to try out the Shotoku Tech avatar. The Shotoku Tech logo. And I'll give away my age with this picture of Ratfink. Wow, I cannot believe how much functionality is baked into this example sketch. I've never seen anything like this ever. Here's my 3D printed case and you can find the link down below to my Thingiverse page in the description. I'm on the fence about the watch examples because of the dependency on platform IO and the weather API is linked to a service that seems specific to China. At least, I don't know how to read Chinese yet. So, I don't know how to work with this service. I'm thinking of using Open Weather One Call as that service has time data as well as weather data. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give this video a like. And before you go on to watch more of my TTGO T display videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.